as expeditiously as possible. The arrival of a virus at Brock University was actually met with excitement this week. The Public Health Agency of Canada officially turned over sealed containers of the Zika virus to Brock researchers. The team will now get to work on establishing what, if any, Canadian mosquitoes can transmit the virus. I mean, for us, this is what we do. We look at insects day in, day out, and we, we look at the potential diseases that they transmit. So to suddenly have all these people interested, it's kind of amazing. We've known about mosquitoes transmitting viruses that cause neurological problems for quite a long time. There are many, many viruses that mosquitoes transmit. But this particular virus, the fact that it's being linked, rightly or wrongly, to microcephaly down in Brazil, I think that's been the game changer. Initially, we never paid too much attention to Zika because it only caused uh, at worst, flu-like symptoms, uh, or you, an individual uh, infected would be asymptomatic. But now it's in the limelight because uh, scientists um, are linking perhaps Zika may be causing this new condition in uh, children, microcephaly, which, uh, kids being born with smaller heads. The CL3 containment lab is equipped with an insectary and is the only facility of its kind at a Canadian university. With 67 different mosquito species in Ontario, researchers will be kept busy for the foreseeable future. We don't have Aedes aegypti here and we probably won't have it in my lifetime because it, it truly is a tropical or subtropical species. But uh, it's very possible that we could have Aedes albopictus come set up shop in Ontario. It's a species that is already established in southern part of New York State. It's in Pennsylvania, it's in New Jersey. You know, their climate is almost the same as ours. And I think I that given what we know about range expansions and species moving northward with global climate change, it it's only a matter of time till we have Aedes albopictus growing in our own backyard they're capable of transmitting the virus and so we really want to get ahead of things to, to figure out all the dynamics. Several graduate students are taking part in the project. The research is the kind of work that the university envisioned when they opened the Cairns complex. It just feels really amazing just to be at the forefront of scientific research. We have this uh, big outbreak, this big headline uh, news grabbing uh, Zika virus that came out and to be part of that part of that uh, research, that ongoing research, it just um, I feel very proud to be part of that and my colleagues uh, feel the same way too. The fact that they're so excited about it is uh, really rewarding to me that we're not just doing ho-hum research, we're doing something that has some um, sort of significance to people. With the media tour over, researchers will go to work immediately on growing the virus in cell culture and begin infecting mosquitoes and charting whether the virus can be transmitted during mating and whether females can pass the virus on to their eggs. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.